Right, back out again, literally just for three, four hours. Different farm, but uh, still shooting over winter wheat. Got the old chap with us in the hide over there. There was a lot of pigeons here this morning when we got here on the brow of this hill, and they all come out the forestry as well. The only downside is there isn't too much wind, but uh, we're going to give it a go, like I say, three, four hours, see how we got on. Four crow decoys down there, and we've got about 20 pigeon decoys, so that's it. I'm using the Bretta semi auto again. I've stolen it off him now, so. But uh, had a good day with it last time I used it. So, fingers crossed, everything's all set up, ready to go now. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a few in the bag. So keep watching and whether you can make it out, but there's quite a few pigeons going across the valley there. So, time to get in the hide and see how we get on. It's your turn. He's down. I certainly hit him. Yeah, he's down. He's down. Yeah, go on, Taz. It's down now, isn't it? He's coming. Yeah. I'm going. Well, you got in. Well, one shot left, come on. <laughs> you should do that with the first one, though, Jim. Yeah, ideally. I was actually under it pretty much on the first one. Was you? See it? Yeah. Go on then. Took two. Yeah, and you were saying to me about taking two. <laughs> Go on in, Taz. It's alright, the dog will kill it for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're packing up now and going home. Been out here for a couple of hours. We've got ten birds on the deck, We've got nine corvids and a pigeon. Taz, leave it. And uh, we ended up with twelve. Got another one in the trees up there and another one in the trees down there. There was plenty of pigeons here this morning, all up over the top of the brow of this hill and in the trees, but they never came back. So, but the crows turned up and we had a bit of fun with them. So, can have another go next time and hopefully get a few more. But uh, for now, that's it. We're packing up. So, see you again soon.